We're going to make, oh my gosh, I am so excited about this. I haven't done this before. We're going to make some cinnamon sugar pork rinds, okay? So let me uh, get a bag of pork rinds. Kind of forgot them. Okay, so we're just going to take a regular old bag, $1.78 at Walmart. We're going to take a whole bag and we're going to stick it in the bowl, okay? Now back here, I'm going to put a stick, okay? So I got a stick of Kerrygold butter and I'm just gonna go ahead and stick it in the pan to brown. Just one stick, okay? We're gonna let that get happy, all right? In another bowl, I'm gonna uh, mix my cinnamon and sugar, okay? So I'm gonna use Lakanta monk fruit sweetener, okay? And I've got a big bucket of it. We bought a whole bunch of bags and we just stuck it in a, an empty bucket of coconut. Okay, so about three tablespoons and then our cinnamon. And I've got ground Saigon cinnamon. It smells so good, okay? Mm. I'm going to put a tablespoon of that in there. I'm going to put four tablespoons in because we've got a whole tablespoon of cinnamon. Let's get rid of the cinnamon, or the sugar. The monk fruit sweetener. So a tablespoon of cinnamon, as you can see, is really going to do you really well. Um, let's go ahead, put in two more, three more tablespoons of monk fruit. We don't have to use the whole thing. We can put in what we don't use back in the container, okay? So like I said, I've never made this before, but I want the ratio to be, I want these pork rinds to be really well coated, okay? So we're gonna melt this butter. We're gonna brown it because, oh my gosh, brown butter is the bomb. And it's got a nice saltiness that's going to come through with the sweetness. It's going to be a really good treat. Okay, so if you've got movie time and you want popcorn, um, we've made a video already about pork rinds with Parmesan cheese and any kind of spices that you want. So now we're going to try this sweet one. And somebody commented that it was like the cinnamon ones at Taco Bell. Well, I've never been to Taco Bell, so... Um, we're going to try these and the sizzling on the butter just stopped. So we're going to go check it. Okay. Oh, it's nice and brown. Let's see if we can get that on camera. We want it nice and caramely brown. Brings out all the nuttiness out of the butter. We're going to pour it right over our pork grinds. Okay. All done. That simple. Let's coat them really well with the butter. Now I'm gonna pour some of this in the bowl and then I'm gonna sprinkle the rest on my baking sheet, okay? There we go. Coat them really good with all the butter. We gotta really toss them around for a while. I think we've got them pretty well coated. Okay, on to the cookie sheet. Lined with parchment paper. Remember, wax is for cold, parchment's for hot. There we go. Spread them out so they're just one layer if possible. And you can do multiple batches of these. They only take 15 minutes total of prep time. Five minutes to mix it and 10 minutes in the oven at 350. Okay, 10 minutes in the oven at 350. Okay, sprinkle just a little bit more. Get them really well coated. Oh, look at that. Oh, that smells so good. 
The cinnamon's already starting to really smell with that brown melted butter. Yes, Diddly, I'm sorry. My kitty is looking for some love. <laughs> he sounds so sad, doesn't he? Okay. Yes, he does talk. He does say hello. And he calls out for our daughter, Soraya. It's kind of really funny. Okay, I'm going to turn that over because it's like a little basket. So I'm going to put some in there. There we go. So these are ready for the oven. It's that simple. Oh my gosh, it is so simple. Okay, I'm going to stick them in the oven. 350, 10 minutes. Oven is set and it is 157 so at 210 we're gonna take those out and let them cool slightly they're really good warm um, and that is a cinnamon sugar pork rind and you can use that um, take it sneak it in the in the movie theater or movie night at home this isn't gonna um, spike your kids blood sugar so they'll actually sit through a movie and it's a nice treat and it's also getting in. So let me tell you about getting in your macros, okay? So a lot of people um, in my keto group are having a hard time getting their macros in. How do you get your fats in? Well, this is a really good snack to get your fats in because the pork rinds are basically fat. Let's look and see how much. Okay, so total fat is six grams and there's zero carb. So you are eating six grams in a half a bag. Um, no, a half an ounce, sorry. So you are getting a lot of fat because you've also got the butter in there. So if you have a hard time getting your fat in, make some pork rind chips with the brown butter, either with Parmesan cheese or cinnamon and sugar, however you like it, and uh, it's, it's really interesting, as I have become fat adapted, my body doesn't crave protein, it doesn't crave veggies as much as it does fat. And so I will make a bowl of pork rinds with brown butter and Parmesan cheese, and I will snack on that for my meal, and I'm fine. It's called satiated. I'm absolutely uh, not desiring anything else, let's put it that way. I, my body is happy, it's got the fat, and it uses it for fuel. And so my sugar levels just stay like this. They're not all up and down, I'm not crashing, I'm not tired during the afternoon. It is two o'clock in the afternoon and most people are having that, that lunch um, dive downward. I don't get those. And so if you are having a hard time getting your fat Macros, what are macros? Protein, carbs, and fat. 65% of your food intake should be fat. So if you're having a hard time getting in your 65% of fat, try some pork rind snacks, okay? So I hope that you will try this. If you like it, please like and share my video. And hey, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is the same thing, Isn't Life Yummy? I hope you have a fabulous day and I will see you again next video. There you go. Really nice snack and they taste really good. Cinnamon and sugar is coated well. 10 minutes in the oven at probably should be about 325. They look really, really good. Let's see. There we go. Lovely.